All right, good morning and welcome. Uh, if you are in the chat, please let me know if you can hear me and see me. Uh, my name is Paul Grogan and welcome to part eight of my Shadow Room Returns playthrough series, which may be the last one, um, which is good and bad. I mean, I'm really enjoying the game. It is good. Just bear with us a minute. I am going to get the chat online chat working if I can find it. Um, it's been really enjoyable, um, but you know, all good things come to an end and I have loads of other computer games that I want to get playing next week. Um, so Silent Sense is here, Gazimi is here. Excellent. Thank you very much for joining me. It is a little bit dark. Um, I frantically realized about five minutes ago that I was due to go live. So I haven't had a shave. I've just got back from my jog. I haven't had a shower yet. Uh, everywhere is a bit of a mess. I'm just going to juggle myself over here. And some of my lighting is downstairs because I was painting yesterday. Um, so anyway, we're, we're here. I'm just juggling things around a bit. There we go. Right. We're all good. Um, yeah, I think we're all good. Um, yeah, glad I got to complete this game. Yeah, so am I, because I started this playthrough series last year, and then obviously last year everything kind of went a bit uh, crazy. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's let's crack on. Um, if the chat dies, I will spot it, because the chat is going to die during the stream. That's that's just a problem that they have at the moment. But hopefully, if I move this. Uh, oh no, I'm not going to be able to see it just because the size of the window that I'm running on. I'm not going to be able to see it. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my live chat there, the game there. Okay, I can just about see the chat. So if the chat does die on screen, please let me know uh, and I can, I, can, I can reset it. Right, okay, off we go then. Continue the game. Uh, and let's see where we got to. Let's see where we got to. So executive actions. Where's the game gone? Lost the game. There's the game. Right, executive actions. Crowding into a corporate elevator on a shadow run is risky. You're exposed, vulnerable, but time is of the essence. The CEO's office is 50 floors up and the Baron has your back. Ah, right, let's carry on reading it here. Um, here we go. Light, blunderized music uh, flows softly from hidden speakers as you make your way up to James Telestrian's office and towards your objective, a sample of Project Aegis. That's what we need to do. We need to get this Project Aegis to kill some bugs. That have, infilled, that have taken over the Universal Brotherhood, or something like that. Uh, you'll need to find the sample and get out before the Baron loses control of the Telestrian mainframe and all hell breaks loose. We also have 17 karma to spend, so we should probably spend that before we move on, I think. Yeah, let's spend that. Um, right, now, we, what are we going to do with this 17? Quickness, chance to hit in ranged combat. We're doing a lot of ranged combat, so I, th I think we'll increase that. Um, is it worth increasing that? I guess that's... And what about rifle? Can we increase rifle anymore? Headshot. Yeah. So let's increase range combat. Ah, we've already got three left. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll go for that next time. I don't know how similar this is actually to the physical uh, role-playing game. Uh, role-playing game, I think Shadowrun is on like the 6th edition or something like that. But yeah, this whole spending karma to increase stats... Uh, it's quite it's quite a cool method. I don't know how similar this is to the board, to the role playing game. If you know when you're in the chat, please let me know how how similar this is. Obviously, theme wise, it's similar. Right. So we're up to the fiftieth floor, and we're trying to get uh, James Celestrian. I don't think we're in combat. No, we are in combat. We are in combat mode, and my character has been uh, wounded. Oh, and I need to hide my taskbar, otherwise I can't actually see all of the icons at the bottom of my screen. There we go. Right, so we are going to activate my drone. There we go. And then we'll, we'll not rush in. Yeah, that's, that's the drone. Then I, I'm a bit wounded actually. Should probably use a med kit. Do we have a med kit? No, I don't have a med kit. Ah! Now, some of the other characters have med kits, but we do have this combat stim. Maybe I'll use the combat stim. Um, next character. Now, which one was this? Did we lose a character? Yes, we lost a character last time, didn't we? I remember now. Uh, oh, the chat has died. Right, okay, thank you very much. Switch back to there. And let's go to here. Maybe I'll do something different for next time. I need to, because um, this is a bit of a pain actually. 
So there you go. That's got the chat back working. Um, and yeah, because the lighting's a bit bad. Let me just find where my camera is. Gosh, where is my camera? There you go. Okay, it's making me a bit brighter. There we go. It's compensated compensated for the for the lack of uh yeah, the lack of the second light in this room. Uh which is yeah, downstairs. Right, so anyway. Um yeah, we lost a character last time. Character character got killed. Uh, this guy doesn't have a med kit either. He's got two concussion grenades. So I think we're just going to send him in and we'll wait there. And then we're going to move Coyote into here and we'll wait there. We're not in any big rush. So we'll get ourselves set up for going in next round, which is now. Right. So we'll open the door. Sharptooth's going to open the door. Lead from the front. Anything in here that we can see? It doesn't appear to be. But I'm a little nervous. I'll just go to here, just in case. Right, Dodger. Wounded 16. Okay, does that mean he's taken 16 damage or he's got 16 life? I'm not sure. Right, let's move Dodger into here. Now, Dodger is a Decker. So I don't think he's got much in the way of weapons. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a thing over here. What is this thing? Oh, that's for the drone to go through. Yeah, so drones can go through little holes in the walls. There we go. Right, and now Coyote. Uh, I think Coyote's just going to go to here. Yeah, that'll do. Next round. So, okay. And we've got this glowing exclamation mark on the side. Let's just get set up, ready to go in, but we'll send the drone off scouting. Where's the drone going to go? Can it get round? Oh. Drone can't get round. I wonder why. That seems a bit odd. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> it looks like it goes round. But it doesn't. Ugh. Right, okay. We'll come back then. So we'll end the turn. And we'll, ju we'll just get the drone in position this round. There we go. And let's move it up to here. And then we'll end the round. Has Coyote got any healing? Oh, she does. So Coyote can use a med kit on Sharptooth. There we go. Right, that's better. Much better. Okay, so next round, Sharptooth is going to open the door. What have we got here? We have a glowy thing here, and we have something here. This looks like James Telestrian's office. Yeah, so Sharptooth's going to go in. Oh, maybe I went too far. Uh, fancy stuff here. Another door here. How could you have got here, though? Don't think you could have done. Yeah, that's confusing me why that drone couldn't get around there. Um, right, so Dodger's going to go here. And Dodger can't, doesn't have Overwatch. So there's no point in saving any action points. Coyote does, oh, and this is the, this is the drone. The drone doesn't move very fast. Okay, Coyote does have Overwatch, I believe, with some of her abilities, but there doesn't appear to be anything here. This is where we jack in, I think. Coyote's going to go around here. Yeah, all appears very quiet. Too quiet. Um, yeah, I think we might clear this stuff out before, or certainly have a look in here, before jacking in. You never know who's going to come out. And Dodger's going to go here behind the piano. 
and then Coyote's going to go here ready. Okay, next round. Sharp Tooth will open the door. Anybody inside? Alright, so now you can use the drone to go along here. That's a bit weird. Uh, should have been able to see that anyway. Right, so we're going to go behind here. Is, anything, is anybody here? It all looks very, very quiet. That's probably a way out. Yeah, there's, there's nobody here. Right, okay, so... Um, yeah, Dodger's going to go and jack in. Right, these are the programs we're taking with us. Right, where are we going to put the combat drone? Where could things come from? I don't know. Oh, we got this thing to investigate here. Forgot about that. I'll put the drone here, actually. Protecting Dodger. Um, and then Coyote is actually going to come back here as well. Right, Coyote's going to have a look at this. Uh, the globe glows with an unearthly light. Oh. <laughs> And now we're jacked in. Right, okay. So this is uh, Dodger on his own in the Matrix. Oh, we've alerted something. Oops. Oh, no. Right, he's taken some damage. So what have we got? Can't remember what we've got. We've got various things. Uh, we can do Medic because we've, we've just taken some damage. We'll do medic on ourselves. And then we will just attack this. Yeah, okay. And again? Yeah, and again. Ouch! Need to get rid of one of these. There's one gone. Missed. And again? Got it, right. Okay, so sharp tooth. Back in the real world, I think Sharptooth's just going to go back in here. Uh, the drone isn't doing anything. The drone is kind of on guard. Uh, and Coyote did have a look at that, and it flashed up with something, and then I couldn't see it. Well, there's nothing we can do here. But yeah, Coyote just going to go on guard, and the drone's not going to do anything. Ah! Bad guy's coming in. Right, okay. So we need to heal ourselves again. Is the healing it's on cooldown. Um, let's put a degrade level 3 on that. Okay, and then we'll hit it. So all incoming damage is at extra 75. Yeah, let's do it again. Got it. Right, nice. And then... Let's activate cam node 1. Okay, we've done that. I don't know what that's going to get us. We can heal ourselves again. Okay, and then we move on to cam node 2. Okay, that's that done as well. And what's this? Big thing. Can we put a degrade on it? Yeah, let's put a degrade on it. Then let's shoot it. Okay, it's coming for me. Rubik's Cube. Enemy turn. What else is happening? Right, okay. Back here. So Sharp Tooth is going to go here. And can we see anything from here? No. So we're going to go Overwatch. Right, the drone. Can the drone see anything? The drone can. So, yeah, not much chance of hitting at this range, but we'll have a go. I think the drone's got unlimited ammo. Yeah. Uh, right, Coyote is not in cover at the moment, so we're going to get in cover, full cover, and shoot this one. Oh, nice! <laughs> I didn't realise that, but she had... Uh, oh, look at that. Perfect. All ah, right, here come, here come the guards. Uh-oh, big guy. Four of them. Got a sword. Right, meanwhile, back in the Matrix. That's that gone. Right, which way are we going to go? I think we'll go off to the side now, see what's here. Okay, note of concern node. Let's open that. Probably a side quest. Uh, at this point, we cannot confidentially assign a motive to Ms. Telestrian's hiring of Shadowrunners 
to destroy the, com the company's Columbia River facility, but there are two leading contenders. The most likely is that she is working for a rival megacorp seeking a competitive advantage. But an alternate explanation is that it has something to do with her deep involvement with the Universal Brotherhood. While Telestrian Industries, of course, would never interfere with an employee's religious choices, our 2053 investigation raised concerns that Ms. Telestrian's devotion to the cult-like Universal Brotherhood could represent a security risk to the company, and it is possible that this has become true. So we have a new objective to regain control of the elevators in the matrix. Okay. Let's go into here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this suppression. Because it's got a cooldown of six. Oh, it costs three action points to do that. I can't do that. Right, I'll do that next time. Let's have a look in here. Oh, I shouldn't have gone in there with only one action point left. My bad. Right, let's put a degrade on it. And then let's hit it. Nice. Okay, who's this guy? Oh. Two little side ones. Oh, there's lots in here. Now, I don't think we've got an ESP anymore. Or have we? Right, where are the other ones coming from? They're coming from here. So we need to get around the other side and put Overwatch on. Uh, the drone can't do Overwatch. So the drone isn't going to do anything, but Coyote is also going to go around the other side and put Overwatch on. Okay, so the enemies come in. Oi! Didn't realise he could shoot me from there. Go oh, look at that! Double hit, both criticals, 60 damage. Wow, that was insane. Uh, right, we've been wounded. Medic! Now, do I have an ESP? Oh, I do! An attacker expert system programme or an exploder expert system programme. Let's go for the attacker one. Is this the same one as we had last time? No, it kind of looks a bit different. Uh, and we're going to... Uh, I think I'll just attack this. Yep. Okay, right, so my... Expert thing. We have Tar Bomb. An area effect matrix attack that deals 75 IP damage to IC and deckers and roots them in place for one round. Okay, can we activate that? I think we can. Okay, missed. Very good shot, is it? Oh, line of sight was blocked anyway. Yeah, long range attacks here. What's he doing? Okay, back to me. So, uh, yeah, we don't want to be reducing the... Oh, he's doing charging, 50%. I don't know what he's charging. Might try and hit it before it can. Missed. Got him with that one. And with that one. Right, so my attack program is going to move to here. Got two action points, hasn't it? Yeah. One to there, one to there. Yes, got it. Okay, that's charging up, but we still don't know what it's charging up. Right, I'm gonna move to here. Can I try and get out of range of the other things? My attack program hopefully will get rid of this one. Yes. Okay, back in the real world. Um, so Sharp Tooth, we're, we're just going to stay on Overwatch here behind this cover, I think. The drone is also going to move around to here because that was getting shot at. It does mean, however, that they've got a free line of sight to Dodger. I'm not too happy about. I might move it to there. Uh, Coyote's going to go on Overwatch as well. Hopefully they'll come out and get shot at. Why is Coyote not doing her overwatch? Hmm. Should have done. Right. Heal. Hmm. 
Yeah, we definitely need to reduce this alarm state. I don't know what happens when you get to the exclamation mark. You know there's another bad guy around here somewhere. We're going to go in and activate this personal comlink node. Oh, you can't because there's bad guys. Ah, there's the other one. There. Well, let's just play chase. <laughs> That's going to come in and get me next turn. So we are going to reduce the, th the alarm state. Only by four. Yeah. Uh, right, and my attack program, we could just stay here and cover. But no, I think I'll, I'll move in and attack. We'll move to there and we'll attack that one. The chat is very quiet. Uh, hopefully it's still working and you're still watching. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see how many people have actually played the role-playing game version of Shadowrun. If you have, uh, let me know. Right, we can't just stay hiding in here. We're going to have to come out. Is that going to be enough? Yes, that's enough. Again, playing this on the easy setting, so... Yeah, I don't fancy having to keep redoing combats in order to win. Right, let's have a look at what shots we've got available. Let's do the dead eye shot. Okay. Yeah, that's one down. And we can do an aim shot with the drone. And then sharp tooth. Ah, I needed to reload. That's why her overwatch didn't work. Okay, let's try this. Nice. He's getting really good with that uh, shotgun now. Uh, John is saying that he's got his second edition hardback on the shelf. Nice. Right, we're going to do the ESP first. Because if we can get this out of the way. If we can get this out of the way. No, not quite. Almost. There you go. Then I can move in here and get rid of this, this personal comlinks node. I say get rid of it. Just um, Right, so we got a call from Thomas Telestrian five days ago. Dad, it's all gone. The runners attacked last night and managed to blow the whole damn Columbia River facility to bits. I had teams sorting through the rubble all morning and they haven't found any viable Project Aegis material. The sample I sent you is all that's left. This is a mess. Lots of people dead and the building is a total loss. Call me to discuss what you want me to do next, Tom. Okay, don't know if we got any karma for that, or it was just flavour. Right, let's go through to the next place. Is there anything through here? I'm not sure. Yes, there is. Bad guy. Bad guy at seven o'clock. Oh, lots of bad guys. This is a big area, this. Oh, what the heck's that thing? That is nasty. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Right, okay. I need to heal myself again. Yeah, this threat's going up still. Okay, and we're going to put a degrade. I thought I had blaster. Firewall. Do we want a firewall? Blaster. Here we go. An area effect matrix that deals 75 damage to IC and Deckers. Area effect. I don't think that's going to... Oh no, it might get both of them. Okay, it did. Nice. Can I do that again? No, that's got a cooldown. Ah, I should have put degrade on first. Okay, well that's one gone. Um, let's get rid of these little ones. First edition softback, uh, okay, you got first edition softback as well. Yeah, I think I got, I think I had the first edition when it came out. It was one of the ones that I got, yeah, when it came out, but no longer. Right, so that appears to be all of the bad guys gone. 
again. Let's see if any more come back. Put Overwatch on. Right, okay, so back in here. Can we reduce the threat again? No, we can't. We've got one more cooldown for that. Um, I can have a go at these. Okay, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. 14 host damage. Oh, that's Black IC. So that does actual damage to me physically. I don't like that. Right, I am going to put a degrade on it. Missed. Okay, we'll just blast it. Try to. Yep, that's that gone. Right, okay, so there's nothing else in here. No, there is nothing else in here. So we can be going back. No, no, with me. No, 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 I didn't mean to go back. Sorry. Oh. I meant to go back with this one. Because there was another way th around, wasn't there? There's somewhere else to go. Right, so in here, I don't think we're doing anything in here. I think we're just going on Overwatch. We're just playing the waiting game. Uh, right, so Dodger needs to go in here. And in here. There we go. Mr. Telestrian, in light of the recent attacks, I have relocated the only remaining sample of Project Aegis to the safe in my office. The safe is hidden and the safe's lock is mechanical and does not at risk from Matrix Decker attacks. Sincerely, Eric Silverstar, Director of Security, Telestrian Industries, Seattle office. Right, so we know where the sample is. Baron Samedi, well done, mon ami. It, as it happens, Eric Silverstar's office is on this very floor. About time a little good fortune came our way. Right, okay. As you say, now to stop those elevators, I am sure there is an, in, there is an accessible node in this system we can access. There is an accessible node in this system we can access. Find it before you are overrun with guards. Okay, now is that going to be in here? We need to gain access to Eric Silverstar's office, search the CEO's LAN on the top floor, and have at least one runner able to deck until you have the information you need. Right. Okay, so we've got all that to do and more. Peter's here. Hi, Peter. Thank you for joining in. I was wondering where you were. Ah, uh, oh, now there's a way out here. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't be going here without my mate. So, change of plan. Come back. This, this thing doesn't know whether it's coming or going. <laughs> it's just walking around. Because we haven't done the thing with the elevators yet. How are we doing for health? We're all right for health. Could do with reducing the security threat. Move so slowly. Uh, nothing's happening up here. No, nothing's happening up here. But Coyote could go over here and use the med kit on Dodger. There you go. Right, okay. So Dodger's in here. Dodger is going to. I'm going to have to reduce this threat. Uh, the alarm state because it's starting to get a bit out of control. I don't know how much it goes up by each time. Possibly shouldn't have done it in the room with the bad guys. Oh, another one. Right, anyway, alarm state has been reduced by a bit. Let's do some long range attacking. Okay. We need to heal myself. We do not. I'll go in here and hide in the corner. Right. Come on, mate. My attack persona. Oh, lots of them. Right. We are going to put degrade on this one. 
and then attack it. Okay, that's that done. Attack program is going to go for this. And then meanwhile, back in the real world, we're not doing anything. So, again, we'll put a degrade on it. And then attack it. There you go. Sorted. So this is the elevator control node. Excellent. That's what we needed. Right, so we've regained control of the elevators in the matrix. Now to get out, do we have to go all the way back to the start? I think we do. This is a bit of a pain. I like it when levels have like a, right, you've done it now. So we'll, we'll just let you out rather than having to, you know, walk all the way back to the start. Although I don't think we need this ESP. It's not an ESP, is it? It's an attack program. The dodger is going to have to go all the way back to the start, but I don't think we need to move the program. The program is going to stay within the matrix. Nothing happening outside. Back to dodger inside. I think it was this way. Look at him run. Yeah, so I didn't go through here. That's fine. I'm not going to bother. It's probably a little side quest or something. Uh, I think this is the way out. Yep, this was it. The way out. Right. Whew. So we did it. We've gained control of the elevators. Then does that mean we can go through here? Oh, what's that? Something highlighted then there. Security camera two. Okay, I wasn't doing anything about that, was I? No. Drone. Squeaky squeak. And then coyote. I think, I think this is where we're going. If I'm wrong, I've gone completely the wrong way. So Johnny's asking me if I'm planning to move on to uh, Dragonfall next, which is the best of the video games in this series. Um, no, well, yes, yes and no. No, next, uh, I'm planning to do a game called Drake Hollow that I got, uh, I got a code for last year and I said I'd do some coverage for it. I never got round to it. Oh, here's the elevator. Uh, so it's there that I need to go. I'm going completely the wrong way. Uh, so that's the, that's the plan next. Although I do have the other two games in the Shadowrun series. Uh, and I have heard they're really good. So yes, at some point I will. But right after this one. So next week I'll be starting Drake Hollow. Uh, yeah. And the, the plan is to finish this one. I, do, I don't know how much more there is of this one, to be honest. I'd like to finish this one today. Uh, but I do need to stop at approximately 12.30-ish, 12.30, 12.45-ish. Uh, so if I don't get this finished today, I will probably finish this at the weekend because I'd like to go into next week um, on a fresh start. That's my plan. Yeah, I do like completing things. It's like ticking things off lists. And that's not to say that I'm not enjoying it. And if this went on forever, well, maybe not forever, but you know what I mean. I kind of don't want it to be over because it's good, but I do want it to be over so that I can say it's done and I can move on. Oh, this is so slow. I mean, if there's no combat, it should just say, you have finished the level. Do you want to proceed to the next one? Because, yeah, this is a bit, a bit slow and painful, having to bring all of these characters up one by one. Drake Hollow is the veggie game. I'm not sure. I, I remember when it came out, I saw an advert for it, and I think it had crafting in it, and I like crafting games. 
So I, I asked them if I could have a review copy of it and they said yes if you cover it on the channel uh, and then it's been like three or four months. So I don't know much about it. Your comlink chirps again and the Baron's face appears on, his, on the screen. Uh, his voice is far less confident than before. Ah, hey, hmm, this is new. Uh, <laughs> Apparently, Mr. Silverstar's reputation for paranoia is well-founded. This panel is a hard-coded door control that cannot be accessed from the Matrix. It was not here yesterday. How did he have it installed so fast? Right, we need a new plan. Oh, more information, we'll figure it out together. So Mehdi will think of something. Very well, this will work, but the plan requires you, and only you, to stay the night. Ooh. Uh, you will find the elevator, once again under our control, goes to an empty parking garage and safety. Your hired help will be able to clear the building with ease. You, however, will be Telestrian's newest employee come sunrise. Now allow me to tell you where to go. Okay, interesting, so we're going to infiltrate it. Um, so Shadow Room Returns had some problems, not enough hacking, and you really do need shotgun skill for one encounter. Okay. Ah, right, we're in the morning after. Uh, you hunker down in the janitor's locker room amid the smells of industrial strength cleansers, floor wax, and body odor. Sleep is impossible as you must be constantly on your guard for the telltale sounds of security teams or building maintenance crews. Morning eventually comes, and with it, another chance at Project Aegis. Right, okay. While that's loading, I'm just going to look up on my iPad. Shadow Run Returns walkthrough. And just see how far we've got left. Good morning, Monami. You look well. Uh, given Mr. Silverstar's paranoia about security, we could not get into his office in a straightforward manner last night. However, thanks to the mayhem created by you and your Shadow Runners, a situation ripe for exploitation now exists. We. Oui. While you waited here, I continued to probe, looking into some of the less secure, more mundane Telestrian office files. Shipping records indicate that Mr. Silverstar recently took delivery of several paintings he commissioned after being promoted to VP of Telestrian Security. The shipment was called Our Values. This is an interesting twist in the story, rather than it just be, you know, lots of combat encounters and then a big finale. Is uh, yeah, we didn't succeed, and now we've had to we've had to do this. Uh, on the same day, the building maintenance reported installing the artwork in his office at the same time as a piece of equipment purchased from Fuji Corp. Uh, although they attempted to obfusc obfuscate its use, I believe it is the safe. You are very bright. Mr. Silverstar is personally conducting the investigation into last night's break-in. He is interviewing personnel who may have pertinent information. You need to become one of the personnel he interviews in his office. Once you are inside, you will need him to leave so that you can find a way to get the sample. Okay. Close. You will plant evidence of your own creation. There are three Matrix Emergency Power Junctions on this level. If we add some comlink chips to them, it will make last night's run appear to be preparation for a larger run. It will bring the attention of Telestrian Security. Okay. Uh, there is a janitor's uniform, ID badge, and the comlink chips in the locker. They will get you access, they will get you general access and allow you to pass a basic inspection. The rest is up to you. One more thing, Mr. Silverstar is well known for his creative security measures. You would do well to learn as much as you can about this man before meeting him. Now, quickly change and I will unlock the door. Okay. So we have a new objective which is to plant the comlink chips to get to Eric Silverstar's office. And I am just on the walkthrough website now and I'm not going to look at what we need to do. I'm just looking at how far we are through. Right, the morning after is whatever chapter it is. And after this, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six more chapters after this. Uh, so I don't think we're going to get this finished in today's stream, which means, yeah, I'll, I will try and get it done at the weekend. Um, yeah, there's probably three, four hours more, I think. Right, here we go. So new objective, don't blow your cover. We are now in janitor's uniform. I have a way to go. Okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking this session for about another three quarters of an hour today, and then maybe one more at the weekend. 
The supervisor has the look of a stuffer shack manager with delusions that he's on a crater track, uh, sorry, a career track, rather than what he is, a disposable dime a dozen resource. Loki's just joined me. Hey, there you are. I'm Steve Scott. I'll be your direct supervisor. Sorry I missed you when you came in, but I only found out that you were standing an hour ago when suddenly you showed up in the system. Weird glitch or something. Normally we'd watch an orientation try, try, tried, tried, try D. I think that's something try D. Uh, and walk through our mission statement. But, well, it's going to be hard for you on your first day, but you're going to need to clean up some blood. Maybe a lot. Uh, okay, and handle it. Uh, you'll have your hands full. There was some sort of break in last night. Some people were, um, just get things cleaned up on this floor. And listen, people are going to be on edge today, so try to stay invisible and don't get into any trouble. And listen, people are going to, uh, otherwise they're going to call me and I'm going to have you have to reprimand you and put a note in your file. Okay, so. Yeah, let's get to the orientation vids another day. I hope they get whoever did this. Only a fool would attack a Telestrium corporate office and they think they can get away with it. Start heading from room to room and clean what needs cleaning. Good luck and welcome to Telestrian. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is where we were last night. This is nice. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is all the stuff that I did and all the bodies and, and everything else. So let's speak to the guard. Or not. Here we go. What can I do for you? I need to get upstairs. The supervisor says there's more cleaning to do. Top floors may only be accessed with the expressed authorization, breast authorization, typo, uh, of Eric Silverstar, our VP of security. You can head to the lower floors if your supervisor wants. Okay, so there's a bit here that's greyed out. Maybe once we've done something else, we can do that. So there's other people in here. Can we get in there? Yes, we can. Go in here. Speak to this guy. Two men are staring into the vents and shaking their heads. Look, Raoul, I know, uh, I know and you know that there's nothing in that vent, but when I told that to Silverstar, he accused me of not wanting to crawl in there. Said, uh, said was letting the company down by not displaying the corporate value of duty. The suits sure love their mission statement and all that dreck, but today isn't the day for Telestrian Corp's duty above all crap. Several of us did the ultimate duty last night. I guess we should be happy Mr. Telestrian isn't in today. Just get in there and take another look. I've got to go upstairs and report. Okay, so he's going to climb in this vent here. Where is he? Uh, a, filthy looking, a filthy guard is looking into an open vent. He's clearly not enjoying the idea of climbing back into the duct. Sorry, I tried that dreck all over the floor. He shakes his head. Man, I can't believe what happened to the Night Watch. But we don't have full charisma, otherwise we could have unlocked that. Like that. Something trips in the guard's mind. He looks at you very intently. How did you know that they made it into the executive level? I'll say I'm heading up there after this. Got the feeling that something is wrong. Uh-oh. That's not right. The executive level is on lockdown. I'm going to call your supervisor and double check your instructions. Uh-oh. Uh oh, right, let's go over here quickly. <laughs> uh, so we're going to install the comlink chip there. Okay, that's that done. Two karma. Maybe I should be increasing my charisma. <laughs> if I'm quickly going to speak to these people, maybe I. Oh, I've got 19, 19 karma. You really do get a lot of karma in this game later on. So charisma, yeah, let, let's. Oh, etiquette. Let's have security etiquette. Yeah, this is a whole part of the game I've not seen yet. Uh, let's have corporate etiquette. Right, that's how you get these. And let's go for five karma. There we go, five charisma. Suddenly, I'm very charismatic. <laughs> Good old spending XP in role-playing games. Now, is this bad? This is bad. Supervisor, look, I told you to watch yourself. Unless you want to be transferred to the Celestrian Stables for shovel duty, you'd better get your act together. Um, say the bottom one. You do that. Work on those people skills. I just have. I've literally just leveled up my charisma. Okay, right. So, no, we got away with it. Now, what's going on in here? Uh, 
Um, right. As the Telestrian Tech jockey turns to speak, you will notice a panel has been removed from one of the LAN racks just behind him. Thanks for coming. Can you believe it? Silverstar is calling it an intrusion, but I know the aftermath of a shadow run when I see it. Start over in the corner and make sure you don't get any solvents on my servers. Well, we have Charisma 4. So we can do that now. Tell him to go out for a smoke. There you go. Nice and easy. He disappears. And we install the comlink. Done, but there was something else we could have done here as well, whatever this is. Uh, open panel is a rat's nest of cables and half disassembled hardware. We'll take some of the LAN parts. Why not? Mission item, okay. Right now, where do we install the third one? I think it was installing three, wasn't it? In here? Uh, I have to say at this point it's not looking good. I don't know how it happened. Nonetheless, our records show this terminal was left unsecured in direct contravention uh, of Telestrian corporate policy. You failed in your duty. I know it's duty above all for you security types, but I am the victim here, I swear. Perhaps when Mr. Silverstar gets his next promotion, that will become a value for you data pushers as well. Right now, it seems your value is clock out early and ignore my responsibilities. Don't go anywhere. I need to make my report to Eric. Okay. So we can speak to the worker. Uh, what, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Looks like you're in some trouble. Buzz. Unless you can clean up a shattered career, leave me alone. I came across some items that might help you out. Is this the Lanst? Uh, I doubt it. You know the guy who said life isn't fair, he was talking about me. So we've got Charisma 4. We can do this. Security's bullying you, but I could make it look like your terminal was tampered with and no one would be none the wiser. Right. Steals himself. Just do it quick. Okay. Speak to him now. Uh, none of this will matter. I'm just fired. I'm out in the street and eating dog food. Just leave me alone. We've done this. Don't we? Oh no, we're going to mess with this terminal. That's it. You place the cables and the data chips around the ter terminal's casing. Right, okay. And that's where the security chip goes. Okay. Russ has popped in. Hi, Russ. Thank you for joining in. Doing this for about another three quarters of an hour or so, half an hour. And then got to relearn Maracaibo for this afternoon. I'm learning a lot of new games this week. <laughs> um, I won't forget this when your review comes up. Hey, no problem. Glad I could help. Would you mind clearing out of here for a while? There is a lot to do. Oh, okay, so I should have done that, then that, then installed the... Anyway, doesn't matter. We've done all of that. That's all done. It's funny how you can't do anything while people are walking away. Yes, Maracaibo at two o'clock, starting the solo campaign. Continuing my Alexander Fister week. Oh, we didn't install the... Right, now we can install it. We didn't install it before because somebody was watching. Right, so we're all done. We've installed all three. Now, where do we go? We've planted all of the comlink chips. I'm not quite sure where we go next. I'm just going to wander around. And yeah, Russ, you saw it last night. I did the, uh, I did the Cloud Age playthrough. So I don't know if you saw my final thoughts at the end, but I did do a, I did do a, t a 10 minute chat at the end of the video. Uh, about what I thought about the game because it wasn't what I expected. Ah, do we now go back here? Yes, we go back here. That's it. So I need to get upstairs. My supervisor says there's more cleaning to do. I found all of these chips on some of the matrix switch boxes. Is that important? Right. Uh, the guard thinks for a moment and activates his comm link. He turns his back on you and has a brief conversation. Then he turns back. Okay. Mr. Silverstar wants you to see you in his office immediately. Right, here we go. New location. Okay, yeah, so checking the walkthrough. That's another chapter done. That was the, the morning after chapter. We're now on the collecting the sample chapter. The brutish dog-eat-dog -dog existence of a slum dweller is a far cry from the quiet desperation and exi existential nothingness of a corporate wage slave. Yet, after your time at Telestrian Industries, it's unclear which is more bleak. 
The elevator rises smoothly, its blunderized music assaulting you once again as you ascend to the executive floor and your goal. Okay, so we are now collecting the sample. Uh, one, two, three, four, six left. Six chapters left. This is chapter one of six. Okay, so we're back up here. We can go for a wander in. Yeah, this is just like we left it. Restricted area. Yeah, I know. I'm all right, I think. <laughs> Should I be in here? I don't know whether I should be in here or not. This is James Telestrian's office. I'm looking for Eric's office. And is it round here? Yeah, I think it is. Is it or is it not? Uh oh, this is outside. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think I should have gone out here. Detective McCluskey stands smirking, surrounded by armed and twitchy lone officers. Um, good morning, moron. Um, yeah. Oops. I want to take you in into Alley and come out alone, but there's someone who wants to meet you. We're going for a little ride. I don't know if I should have actually left. Mr. Telestrian wants to meet you in person. He wants to chat about last night's fun and games. You can come along quietly or you can meet him in a body bag. OK, maybe this is the right thing to do. Um, OK. So uh, Ralph is here. Looks like a nice game to port to the iPad or console. Yeah, I mean, iPads these days, you can get really, really good stuff on them. OK, well, that was a really quick chapter. I, I, I don't know whether I actually did I miss something? I think I might have missed something there. Like, I didn't actually go and do it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just having to look through the walkthrough to see what I missed, but it's just, it's just a page of adverts. There's nothing actually on there. Anyway, the estate. From the floor of the Lone Star Cruiser, you watch the tops of the downtown corridor's office buildings disappear, replaced by the grey overcast by the grey overcast over the I-90 bridge. Yeah, some, some, the writing is good, but there's the occasional bit of typo that just doesn't make sense. The nylon restraints binding your wrists and ankles, along with McCluskey's whistling to the radio, make for an unpleasant ride. A half hour later, the cruiser hits a whisper-smooth patch of road and a magnificent mansion fills your view. It's design, of blend, and it's design a blend of old world finery and elvish grace. The car pulls to an abrupt halt and you're dragged onto the driveway when, where McCluskey pulls a nasty looking knife and cuts your bonds. You look up to see you're surrounded by a squad of green clad ghosts, special forces troops from Tier Tear Green, 10 gear. Uh, massaging the feeling back into your numb extremities, you prepare to meet the man himself, James Telestrian III. Okay. So yeah, I don't know if I missed something in the previous chapter. I was supposed to get it. Let's have a look at the objective. Yeah, where are the, the objectives? Not there. Oh, towards James Celestrian. Yeah, so the whole getting the sample, I didn't do that. Anyway, we are here. This all looks very, very fancy. Speak to Mr. Quoth. The fussy elf with an air of, Victorian, uh, of, an, of a Victorian butler studies you from toes to horns before he speaks. He doesn't like what he sees. Uh, Mr. Telestrian is expecting you. You will find him in his office. I'll say thank you, Jeeves. <laughs> uh, you may wait here for a few moments to gather yourself before you enter Mr. Telestrian's office. Some people find that they need time to prepare themselves before meeting an elf of his stature. Uh, however, the upstairs is off limits to you and the library is occupied at the moment. Do not tarry, though. Mr. Telestrian is not one to be kept waiting long. OK. So, yeah, it's very, very fancy. Again, graphics, really nice. Love the whole stuff. Algernon. That name's familiar. There is a twinkle in Algernon's eye that wasn't there when you spoke at the Seamstresses Union. OK, yeah, so we have spoken. Good to see you again. There is much to do. Say. 
explain yourself. No, I do not explain, I provide a service. Seek me out after you have spoken to James Telestrian. Perhaps I can be of service again. Okay. Can't go up there, can't climb stairs, like a Dalek. Nope, can't go there. Okay, I'm just wandering around. Maybe I can go in here. This looks like his office. Piano. Where is it? Safe. Go and rob the safe while he's not looking. Nope. Right, let's speak to James Telestrian III. As you approach, James Telestrian III looks up from the computer screen built into the surface of his desk and assesses you. Calculating and cold. A practiced smile comes to his face. He vibes the kind of rich you don't get from the trivid. Uh, he's not the, it's not the clothing or the trappings or the bow, bow before your betters mansion. It's something else. Feeling that you're being categorized as a resource or a liability or a pawn. I've been reviewing the results of your visit to my Seattle office last night. I admit they are impressive. So he knows it was me. What about this whole breaking into Eric's office and getting interviewed by him. I, I think I've missed something. You have generated a considerable amount of damage to my co office complex, killed or wounded many of my security personnel, and cost my vice president of security his job. In 24 hours you have accumulated quite a bill with me, ma'am. How do you intend to settle your debt? Well, we can say the bottom one, because we've got this etiquette now. Once my current assignment is complete, I would be happy to discuss working off my debt to you. That discussion may happen one day, assuming the outcome of this conversation does not result in your immediate termination. When one is in my debt, they remain in my debt until such a time that I decide the debt is repaid. There will be, there will be no negotiation on that point. However, you have one piece of information which you might use as a bargaining chip in the little time you have left to live. Why you took what you took. But I didn't take it. <laughs> I am interested to know why you and your team of criminals fought your way through my security teams up to my private office to access the matrix and uncover the location of a simple research project. Yeah, I may have encountered a bug with the game here that it actually let me escape without stealing the sample. Uh, so I've actually missed a whole section of the game. Let me know if you know the answer to this, but it appears that we definitely did miss a section out and the story's progressing anyway. Um, I took the AG sample to kill giant insect spirits. Let's say that. Uh, I find your bluntness somehow refreshing. He touches a button on the desk. Mr. Quoth, please ask my daughter to join us. The young, pretty elf has dark circles under her eyes and a haunted expression on her face. He recognises you instantly. It's you. You're the woman who helped me escape from the Universal Brotherhood. How did you get here? Uh, thank you, Marie Louise. You have confirmed the identity of your rescuer and given me reason to forgive her for her trespasses against me. He looks hungry for your help. I'm glad you're here. Um, you guys, your father? Yes, for what that's worth. He's the reason I was at the Universal Brotherhood in the first place. Another, another missing word there. Um, I was running away from him. Now, now, I can't sleep at all. I'm afraid that this is a dream and I'll wake up and still be there with the bugs. He shudders. You can relax, Marie Louise. You are safe. It is over. No, it won't be over until they're all dead, he shudders. You didn't see them. You don't understand. You and those men you flew in here. All you do is talk. It's just like you to form a committee, father. I knew that someone had to take action. That's why I got Hakim involved. Uh, the already cold exterior of James Telestrian III turns to ice. I see. It was you and your crippled little friend who leaked ages to this woman. We will speak of it later, in private. Now then, Sharptooth, there are people... I wish you to meet. The committee my daughter alluded to. This is a rare opportunity for a woman of the street such as yourself. I urge you to behave. We will adjourn to the library. No one is suggesting you join them, nor that you are worthy of doing so. You are attending a briefing. Now come with me and watch your tongue. Uh, Lorenzo says, uh, you finished it eight months ago. It is a little buggy. It gets better with Dragonfall and way better with Hong Kong. Okay, thank you. It's a shame that it's a little buggy, um, but it's, it's fine. All right, we just missed out a whole section. So we're taking part in the tier council meeting. How do we do that? Do we just speak to people? We do. 
Uh, lady and gentlemen, this is Sharptooth. She is the troll who saved my daughter and the only one who has faced our common enemy in combat. Herr Brackhouse, what does the representative of the great dragon Lofwuri have to tell us about the magical insect this Shadowrunner uncovered? Brackhouse speaks slowly with a deep, melodious German accent. He takes his time accentuating each word, relishing each vowel and each consonant, tasting them as if they were a delicacy. Now, am I going to try and put on a German accent? This would be funny. I'm no good at accents. Uh, right, we need a slow, uh, deep, melodious German accent. Okay. My Lord Lofia has witnessed the insect spirit's physical manifestation before, roughly 9,000 years ago. I wish I could do accents. But uh, I can't. As you are aware, magic ebbs and flows from the earth, cycling from peak to peak over the course of 5,200 years as the level of magic grows. Hans, dear, I love you, but you could babble on forever, and I believe time is of the essence. The painted elf addresses you. Sharptooth, it is, is it? Delighted. The bug you fought was not merely a magically awakened animal like a wyvern or hydra or anything else in the sixth world. In fact, it isn't from this world at all. It's the physical embodiment of an insect spirit from another plane of existence. Right, so we don't have uh, academic etiquette, but we can say, who the hell are you and why are you dressed like that? <laughs> Excellent question, one I've asked myself many times. Now, an insect spirit can't simply thumb a ride through astral space and show up on Earth late for dinner. Dinner, in this case, being us. Right, Algernon. Oh, Algernon's in this meeting as well. Two elements are required to bring one across the void, a shaman and a host. First, the spirit calls upon a shaman, often in dreams. The spirit seduces the shaman with promises of great power. The shaman then accepts the spirit as his totem. Next, the insect spirit requires a suitable host. The best candidates are the disaffected and the disenfranchised. In short, the weak-willed. Their minds are the most susceptible to suggestion, which is helpful in making the transformation. As you may imagine, these are the sort of people easily attracted to a cult, such as the Universal Brotherhood. Finally, by performing what has to be a truly disgusting ritual, shaman serving the insect totem implants the spirit into the host, willingly or not. Then it's feeding time. Ha Lea Quinn is correct. Oh, this is the German. Uh, the insect spirit will then slowly consume its host while transforming it into the spirit's own insectoid body, thus manifesting itself fully on this plane. Whiz bugs from another dimension need killing. I get it. No, you don't, kid. Not by a long shot. This is bigger than hunting down an insect shaman or putting a few 9mm rounds into a bug. The initial bugs prepare a nest for the summoning of a queen. Once a nest has its queen, it literally explodes with newly manifested insect spirits. They swarm out of the nest, feasting on all the flesh they can find and implanting more insect spirits into the fresh corpses. Again, Again and again. Room falls silent as they all consider the scenario faces grim. Celestrian breaks the silence. This is not an infestation, Sharptooth. It is an invasion. My Lord Lofwyr knew that this day would come, but he did not know precisely when nor where. Your rescue of Mr. Telestrian's daughter has exposed the existence of an insect spirit for the first time in this cycle of the world. Fire a cruise missile at the Brotherhood and call it a day. Yeah. You have engaged the enemy. You know why. The insect spirit is only a resident in the transformed host's body. Conventional weapons can hurt the body and expose the spirit. The spirit itself exists on two planes. It cannot be destroyed by mundane means. Hence, Project Aegis. Air Telestrian's biotechnology and agricultural divisions worked with my Lord Lofwyr's thaumaturgical engineers and designed Project Aegis to destroy an insect spirit once it is released from its host. The formula, a fluorescing astral bacteria strain, exists in the physical and astral plane at once and can thus affect the insect spirit. Now that was a mouthful. Did you memorise it or are you reading it all off index cards? <laughs> My director of R&D, Diane Ravenwood, will explain how Project Aegis will be used in the field. Dr Ravenwood. Uh, that's this woman here. Our weapons specialists have rapidly prototyped the delivery service for the fluorescing astral bacteria strain. They've created some prototype launchers which fire Aegis-filled shells. When fired, the shells will discharge a high-velocity stream of the bacteria. Okay. In order to destroy one of the bugs, it must first be damaged using conventional weapons or magic until the spirit is released from the host body. 
Then the insect spirit must be shot with the Project Aegis prototype launcher to destroy it. Multidimensional bug spray. Yeah. Crudely put, but accurate. We must stop the Universal Brotherhood from summoning a queen, and we must stop them immediately. You are the only one who has been inside their facility, and the only one who has personally fought these creatures before. That, along with your highly effective assault upon my property, indicates that you are the ideal person to lead the attack. The painted elf grins and his red lipstick catches the light. We're foregoing the clinical trials in favour of field testing the formula. Come on kid, when fate taps you on the shoulder, you've got to pay attention. Unfortunately, he has the nasty habit of tapping you on the opposite shoulder, so that when you turn around, she's on your other side, giggling like a deranged schoolgirl. I hate that. Enough, are you willing to undergo this mission, Sharptooth? Uh, we'll say the middle. Of course, here is my proposal. If you prevent the Queen from being summoned and destroy the insect in the next, one million new yen will be divided by the surviving team members. Okay. Excellent. He claps his hands as if seeing the circus for the first time. I love the way that the short-lived are willing to die even faster. It's very inspirational. Brackhouse raises his hand and Harley Quinn's clapping instantly stops. There is one final note. A warning, if you will. You have seen the danger the insects represent, but you have not witnessed the shaman's power. The shaman must tap into a powerful source of magic in order to summon a queen. You do not know what abilities that power source will grant. Beware of the insects, but do not underestimate the shaman. Hey, don't scare the kid, Hansel. We, need, uh, we still need her to go on the mission. By the way, I'm coming with you, Sharptooth. I wouldn't mind seeing these creatures for myself. I missed them last time. Celestrian will bankroll you so you can hire the rest of the team. Find me when you're ready to go and we'll bug right out of here. Okay. Yes, speak with Harlequin when you are ready to depart. If you wish to acquire additional supplies for your mission, find my assistant, Quoth. He is highly resourceful. Okay, lots of reading there. <laughs> wow. Discussion in the chat about the role-playing game. Um, read a book or two in high school that was building the original backstory. Yeah, the original uh, edition of the game was FASA, F-A-S-A. Did a lot of role-playing games back in the 80s. Um, but then there was a series of novels, says Jen, uh, Jen, Jen John, uh, which was 89 to 90. You still got them. Cool. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I love the setting, I love the world, and I love the fact that the narrative in this game, they have managed to capture uh, a kind of futuristic-y, kind of mystically weird thing. So, who are we going to speak to? We're going to speak to Quoth to buy some stuff. Where is Quoth? Just out here, wasn't he? He's moved. Where's he gone? Ah, here we go, Mr. Quoth. Uh, so, show me the gear, show me the outfits, cyber installed, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the gear first. Now, in terms of weapons, I thought we were okay for weapons. I don't know what I've got. I've got 17,000 new yen, which is, which is good. Um, but yeah, drones-wise, ah. So we don't have Drone Control 6, but I could probably get Drone Control 6. So I think we are going to buy a Super Attack Guardian thing. And we'll just spend Karma to get, get that. Consumables, we need some medkits. Because we don't have uh, any medkits. Ah, Trauma Wagon. That's what we need. For the character who died last time. So we'll go for a Premium medkit. We'll go for a Drone medkit. Um, we'll go for two more premium medkits because we've got the money. Okay, so they're the consumables. We've bought a drone. Weapon, I think we're all right for the weapon. I mean, I, that's the thing. I don't know what I've got. But we'll say yes to that. Ah, now it tells us what we've got. We have an FNH, which is damage 12, long range, capacity 36. Uh, let's put the medkit back on. Um, we need to spend some XP, don't we? Yeah, okay. So, confirm. 
the question is, John, when are you going to run a Shadowrun role-playing adventure for us uh, over Discord as part of the uh, Patreon Slack group? Because I'd be up for that. Show me the outfits. Now, what armor have we got at the moment? I don't think we've got armor 10. So, and, and I'm wearing a stupid rabbit outfit. So let, let's go with that. Go with armor 10. Yeah, we are wearing the Ganga mask. Right, so that's going to be swapped for that. There you go. We've got armor 10. Weapons. Damage 12, long range. Let's look back at the weapon. Um, going for rifles. None of these are long range. Ah, here we go. Ares Alpha, damage 16. Top of the range rifle. Um... Yeah, let's go for that one. I'm just spending all my money. Probably sell some stuff though. So that needs to go back into the stash. And that needs to go there. Yeah. How can we sell some stuff? Um, cyber installed. So we can probably get something thermal plating. No, we've already got something in. We need we need arms. No, I think we're all right for that. We've got enough cyberware. Let me go and spend my XP. Because we've got 17 now. Again, we just we just seem to be getting loads of XP. Which is great. Not complaining. Um it was this one. Ah, unfortunately, six is the maximum for trolls. So I can't have S-type drones. Rats. Oh, I've bought an S-type drone and I can't use it. Oops. Oops, indeed. Yeah, because the maximum intelligence for a... Uh, uh, a troll is six, therefore none of these skills can go above six. Oh, rats. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to here and say, you know that drone I've just bought, can I get a refund on it? Uh, and can I buy an A-class drone instead? Yeah, so we're buying an A-class drone. And then let's sell... Sell that, and let's sell that. I think I got my money back for it. We don't need that anymore. That can be sold. Now, do I have the A-class drone? I don't. I need to get rid of the old one and put that one in. There we go. So we've got a B-class drone that we can sell. Is that one. Oh, and the Ganga Mask. We don't need that anymore. That can be sold. Right, we're all done. Um, right. Okay, John says he's currently running two D&D &D campaigns and an Invisible Sun. Okay, you're a busy man. <laughs> you're a very busy man. I don't know how you have time to do everything. Um, so, we've done that. Now we're going to go over here to hire Harley Quinn. This is my new drone. Not a flying drone anymore. It's a, a drive along the ground drone. Uh, I'm ready. Let's go stomp some bugs. Surely we need to hire some friends. What's this? What is this? Sharp tooth. An Aegis Mark One launcher. Oh yeah, we need that. So we need to swap it with our deck. Yeah, we're going to have to take this with us, aren't we? I suppose you should know, Telestrian's technicians only had time to create a few prototype Aegis launchers. I'll be taking one naturally, another is for you. Treat her well. If you want additional bug-splattering firepower, James has agreed to, f to allow one of his personal elite guard to accompany us with the final prototype weapon. And now, let us away. We have a date with Destiny. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. 
Okay, so we are going to add a third runner. Who are we going to have? Uh, I mean, thematically, we should have Coyote with us. Because Coyote's been with us for a while. Um, and... And didn't Ray die? I thought Ray died. He was a bit rubbish, actually. Um... Yeah, all fancy stuff here. Who's this one? Levy. He got. Yeah, I'm not sure. Should we should we have another one? Because I thought it said somebody's going to be with us. Uh, let's have a shaman come with us. Let's have uh, this one, because I can't pronounce them. Yeah, let's have that one. Right, okay, confirm. Head to the hive beneath the Universal Brotherhood. Right, this is definitely near the end. Well, I say it's near the end. There's still four chapters left, but what I mean is it's, it's gearing up to the, to the end. So the hunt begins. One, two, four. Yeah, so four left now, and this is one of them. We'll probably do this chapter and then wrap things up for today. So the hunt begins. You return to the Universal Brotherhood. Your return to the Universal Brotherhood is anything but subtle. Uh, the team hits the same back door Coyote found and you storm through, quickly making your way into the restricted area and the room where you last met Jessica and first encountered the bug. You stand there together, listening to the sounds of chittering coming from somewhere from the somewhere distant. Again, another typo. Um, Harley Quinn stares into the darkness, humming tunelessly while fingering the sword on his hip. Then he turns, lifts his Aegis launcher to his lips, and gives it a kiss. You give the signal, and the hunt begins. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Right, we're going to go in. Yep, yeah, we're going in. Right, here we go. Uh, that side door you found last time was uh, was here. The, that side door you found last time you were here was helpful. We avoided all those Universal Brotherhood spa cult yahoos. Celestrian was right. You're a real value add. Harlequin grins a wide predatory grin, both sets of his pearly white teeth offset by the livid red lipstick around his mouth. Now the fun begins. Okay, I'm ready. Apparently you get a warning pop-up when you're about to go into the last mission. Okay, thank you. Um, here we go. Right, what's in here then? We have bad guys. We have a Brotherhood Gunner. So this is an Aegis launcher. We don't want to be using that. Oh, is that all he's got? As a ranged weapon, all he's got is the Aegis launcher. So we don't want, we don't want to use that. We need to use the sword. Charge! <laughs> Is he a better hit than Ray? Yes, he is. Right. Oh, what's in there? Oh, that's probably where the insect comes out. Oh, yeah, we've been in here before. Yeah, I remember this. Right, so this is Coyote. Why is she using a little gun? There we go. Uh, can we hit anything from here? We can. Just about, 35%. That's not much, is it? Uh, but we can do a kneecap. No, we don't want a kneecap. Aim shot. Oh, it's because she's using a shotgun. We really don't want to accidentally hit our friend. Thankfully, we didn't. But yeah, I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't be using the shotgun to do that. Right, this is the shaman. So the shaman can do fancy stuff in certain places. And the shaman has all sorts of fancy spells. Um... Ooh, can we do that area effect? No, because we can't see. Yeah, all sorts of fancy abilities here. I think we're going to give an extra action point sharp tooth. There we go. So sharp tooth has been hasted. And then we're going to move in here. Oi! Got me. 
Why didn't Sharptooth get a go? Right, now we get a go. So the first thing is we're going to activate the drone. The drone is now on. Okay, so we'll do the drone first. The drone's going to move to here. And then we'll start shooting these. Brotherhood Mage or the Brotherhood Gunner? Go for the Mage. Paste. Oh, got him. Right, now it's Sharp Tooth. We're going to switch to this. Nice. We'll just go to here. Yeah, because we're wearing like full battle armor now and we're really tooled up. Right, Harlequin's got a sword out. Her sword, his sword. He. Nice, critical. And again, that's better. Yeah, Ray was really rubbish with the whole sword. This character is a lot better with the sword. Right, Coyote. Uh, we will go to here. And is there anything to shoot? No, I don't think there is. So we'll reload. Right, the Shaman. Going to go to here. Yeah, there's something in there, isn't it? Don't know how far we want to bring the shaman out. Send the shaman to here. Okay, right. So sharp tooth. We're go I guess we're going to go in here. All oh, right, this is the way out. Yeah. Okay. So that's where we're going. This was a short level. And then the shaman. Can the shaman reach there? Because he's only got little legs. Yeah. Okay, right. Next up. Harley Quinn is next. Shaman is next. And then Sharp Tooth. Oh, it's on Overwatch. I need to get a weapon out. Right, there you go. Uh, I should be using some of my fancy attacks, shouldn't I? Uh, I think just charge in. Right, where can Coyote get to where she can attack? Nowhere this turn. We'll go there and get some cover. Um, Shaman, let's move to here and let's try one of these spells. Let's try a... Fog. Reduces the chance to target someone by 50%. So let's put some fog in this area. Just messing around now. I want to see what it looks like. Right, the drone, the slow moving drone. Oh, it does have three action points, the drone. Move the drone to here. In the fog. Oh, he's run away. That's not pretty good. Get after them. I think we'll just have a, a pause round while all of the characters catch up. Right, okay, so Sharp Tooth's going to open the door and pop in. Just about see him. Harlequin is going to go to here. Don't think we're going to go around the corner. We've got a, a gun. No, we don't have a little gun. IoT is going to go to here. OK, 
can't hit. Okay. Damon's going to go to here. And the drone is going to go. The drone can get through there. Why not? Is the Class A drone the one that we started with? I don't think so. I think uh, if you look at the skills, I hope not. Anyway, you start here, Class C, then Class B, Class A is there. So it goes C is the worst, then B, then A, and then there's S. But S is the best one, um, but I can't have S because I'm a, I'm a troll. Um... Right, can we hit anything from there? Nope. Can we hit anything from here? Oh, there's a bug. There is a bug. Yeah, he's a true form worker. Right, Harlequin's going to rush in because he's a mad elf. Uh, Coyote moves two to here. And then has a shot at nothing, not enough AP. Oh, because she's got that selected. Right, okay. Uh, let's do an aimed shot at this one. Okay, next. And yes, it does seem odd that it's uh, it's got wheels rather than flying. I thought that too. Bring the shaman in. Uh, what's the shaman going to do? We'll slow this. Right, there you go. Right, okay, so the drone is just going to go wandering around through here and here. The drone can go all the way to here. So that's that's quite cool. Or we could get the drone to come out here or over here. Yeah, the drone can go all sorts of places. Oh dear. Expecting that. Right, okay, so sharp tooth. Uh we are gonna use my um dead eye shot on the gunner. Then we're going to do a normal shot. Yeah, is that gone? Right, Harley Quinn. We're going to use the sword on this guy. Should probably be doing all of these fancy attacks here. Two melee attacks on one target. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, nice. <laughs> right, Coyotes faced with this true form worker. Let's shoot it. Oh, look at that. Have a zoom in and see this. Nice. And again, missed. Okay, so the shaman, shaman is wounded a bit. Um, an area effect spell that increases the cost of magic by one AP. Set five med cover barriers that last three rounds. Anyone that enters loses. Okay, we can do that. Okay, don't really know what this is, but this is cool. Uh, and then we'll shoot it. Yeah, he's not a very good shot. Right, so the drone is going to go through here for a bit of a laugh. And then hit this one. Okay. Yay, it moved through the barrier. Oh dear, it's hit the drone. Right, come on, sharp tooth. Need to shoot that. Got it. Right, it's dead. Now, I say it's dead. Do we need to use the Aegis gun on it? Or was that something different?
Nice. The coyote is going to go along here. Yes, we could go in there. Wounded shaman. And then the drone. Come on, it's point blank range. Wow. Ah, here we go. Right, yeah, so the spirit has come out. We now need to switch to the Aegis launcher. Like that. Right, okay, so now we're attacking the actual insect spirit as well. And we're going to do the same with Harlequin. There you go. Right, that's that done. Gone. Reload. Nice. Coyote can shoot this one. Except I'm accidentally hitting my friends. Anything over here to attack? Something here to look at. Playing a map of the UCAS. Chicago is listed as a priority. Okay. There we go. Sorted. Right, which way are we going in? I guess we're going in around here. Right, so sharp tooth is me. And then Harley Quinn can go all the way around to here for two. Oh, another bug. Ah, wrong gun. Oops. My bad. Need to get Coyote around here. Uh, Shaman, let's put another fog up, I think. Yeah. Might help, might not. All right, we need to get the combat drone taking the fire. Miss. Nice. So yeah, we're going to reload the Aegis launcher. Switch weapons. And then move to here. As far as I can move. Right, so Harley Quinn is not going to use the Aegis launcher. Um, going to use the sword. And going to do this type of attack. Okay, so need to get Coyote around here. And I'm going to shoot not with the shotgun, just with the normal gun. Because I keep hitting my friends with the shotgun. That's almost it, isn't it? Yeah. So then the insect spirit will come out. Uh, and that's when we'll use the Aegis gun on it. Right, meanwhile, there's another one here. Lots of bugs. Where's it going? Oh, well, there's another way around. Right, okay, so Sharp Tooth is going to move to here. Uh, we're going to fire the Aegis gun. Reload it and then fire it again. And that's the only thing that can hit this spirit when it's like that. So, yeah, we need to go and get the other one. Switch back to shotgun. Nice. Have we attracted its attention? Move the shaman in here as well. And we'll reload. Okay, so the drone. 
We'll go here. Can we shoot? We can. Right. We need to switch. Oh, it's come back. It's not an insecty thing anymore. Interesting. So we'll reload the Aegis and move to here, ready. So when it does come out, we need to basically get it. Although that's now going to come out and we're nowhere near it. Open another door. If in doubt, open another door. I think that's the rule. Um, so we'll reload that. Oh, and it's already reloaded. There you go. Can we heal? Yes, we can heal. Um, we can do some decreases the target's movement, but there isn't anything. We can do increase the target's action points. Put another action point on Coyote. I'll do. Right. Let's pop back up. And now we need to get it. Now we need to blast it with the... And the same with this one. So we need to switch to... What is it? There you go, the Aegis Launcher. One. Oh. You don't get much attacks out of it. There you go. Got it. Reload. And then we'll go in here. Coyote's going to open the door. See what's on the other side. We have some bodies. Now, that's a thing where a shaman can summon something, I think. Broken pile of bodies. The bones look twisted and their jaws hang open, seemingly in terror. Have a rush around, see what there is. So yeah, the shaman's going to go in here and raise something from there, which costs something or other. Uh, no point the drone being in here. I will just move the drone in here. Right, sharp tooth. We've got the Aegis launcher on. We can move to here. And missed. missed. Okay. Quite a big area, this isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um so let's move to here. Oh yeah, bad guys. Get some full cover. Um, right, so the shaman's going to do this. Here we go. So we've summoned pestilence. Nice. <laughs> what I like to do on a Thursday morning. Bitter pestilence. Uh, Russ is saying the kind of combat takes you out of a game. I can understand it. Um, it the game is a mix of you know, the narrative, the role play side of things, and then the tactical combat. Um, yeah, this isn't my favourite part of the game, but, you know, it, it's just how this game is. And it's well done. As a tactical combat game, it is well done. And a lot of role playing games actually do end up, uh, like, depending on the role playing games that you play. I know some people who play the role playing games where it is really just narrative. Uh, and there isn't much in the way of combat stuff. And then there are other people that play role-playing games where every so often you have tactical to combat situations like this. I, I like a bit of a mix. Now, what's happening? Um, bugs have broken in. And I don't know quite what's happening with this one. I think... I think this one has actually turned into a normal bug again. Yes, it has. So that's turned into a normal bug. We need to we need to go in here. Because you have to wait a round. You have to wait a round for the um 
uh, for the spirit to come out of the dead bugs. Let's go with this. Oh, very good. Go for it again. Okay, still not that good. Oh. Right, okay. So the shaman. Uh, now, do we have some explosive thing? I thought we did have. Oh, we can do this lightning barrier again. No, it's not much of a barrier, is it? No. Uh, what about... A raccoon totem. Power of raccoon aids friends within a range of three with plus two move. I don't think we need that. Minus 36 hit points to cast. Uh, we do not want to cast that. Decreases the target's movement by three for four rounds. I think let's just put some fog here. Right, so the combat drone. Yeah. That's just quite badly wounded, this combat drone. Uh, right, how many APs do we want to give Pestilence? One's not going to be enough. Let's go for four. Is it going to disappear? No, it's got four AP. Nice. So we can go two to here. Look at this guy. He's so cute. Uh, and then we're going to go for this one. Ugh. Nice. So they're spitting venom at me. Right, the spirit for this has been released. So now Sharptooth can switch to the, uh, the Aegis weapon and attack it. Oh. And then reload. And then we're out of ammo. Um, so Harley Quinn's going to rush in. No point using the Aegis weapon at the moment, so we'll switch to the sword. It means we can't actually attack anybody this turn. Right, okay, so Coyote. Um, we're going to go with that one. And again. No. That's a bit of a rubbishy attack. Go for that one. Do an aim shot. Okay, well that hit at least. Right, Harlequin. One action point left. Not going to do it. Shaman. Two action points left. What can we do? We can get in. The fog didn't really do anything, did it? And the Shaman is not wounded, so we can get a bit further in. Yeah, right, Harley Quinn. Still one action point. Drone. Drone has a three action points. Target the head. Nice. Uh, then we'll do an aim shot. Missed. And we'll do a normal shot. Okay, so the aim shot missed, the normal one hit. Okay. See what the bad guys do. Oh, what was that? Oh! Right. Oh, you see, it's gone back. Yeah, I think you've got one turn to kill it when it's a spirit. Otherwise, it goes back. I, I think we're just going to leave that. And we'll let it come for me. Okay, so we need to hit this with a sword. that killed it? I think that has killed it. And then we're going to run. Yeah, that's killed that. Nice. Uh, Shaman, I think we'll just shoot it. And the drone is just going to shoot it. Eventually we'll hit it. And Pestilence, I think we just want to have two action points. Or maybe just one. We'll give it just one. 
There you go, we'll give it one action point and it will use that to do that. Right, okay, so this bug is back. This one is still alive. This one has now turned into a spirit. So, sharp tooth first. We're going to go in here. We need to catch up with these. So, yeah, I'm just going to rush through. Uh, right, so Harley Quinn is going to switch to the Aegis launcher. Okay. Fortunately, I thought James was going to send somebody, a third person, maybe because we filled our party. Maybe I should have left one slot free. Probably, probably a bad mistake, that. Um, okay, that is almost dead. Yeah, because only having two characters with the Aegis weapon is a little bit restrictive. Yeah, because that isn't going to do anything because it's immune. Um, and of course, pestilence might we might lose control of it at some point. Yeah, Peter's saying we're going to need two characters on there. Don't think we need any AP for that this turn going to escape at some point isn't it and then i think it turns on us oh wow right this is getting tough taking on too many um yeah so we're, we're going to have to get two characters on it as you say because otherwise it just switches back oh wrong one oh i attacked it with the wrong weapon i thought that was going to be sharp tooth oops Okay, that, that's killed that. So that's dead. That's a spirit. So Coyote can only attack this one. Let's go and overwatch. And again, this guy can't really do anything. So... Why is this not coming out? I think I'm going to give this one action point and I'm going to make it go over here <laughs> just in case it turns on us. I mean, can I attack that? No, because it's immune, of course it's immune. Uh, right, I think that's everybody. Yeah. Okay. Where's he going? Right, so that's turned into a spirit. We now know we to attack that with these two characters. Let's make sure the right weapon is equipped. Off we go. Right, that's a fail. Attack. Reload. And attack. Yes! Right, that's another one gone. Um, can't seem to hit that. It seems to be like stuck in the wall or something. Almost there. Yeah, that's another one dead. Uh, yeah, confirm that. Okay, so another spirit here. Are we going to be able to get to this in time? I don't think we are. I mean, there's through here as well. Oh, no, there isn't anything through. Okay, I'm hoping that the damage actually transfers over. Um, so, you know, when it goes to spirit form, if it takes any damage, then that damage will transfer over the next time it goes back into physical and then back into spirit form again. I hope. Because that's quite badly wounded in spirit form now.
think we're going to send Coyote over here. Because there was another bug that escaped. Uh, let's do a spell. Let's make somebody have lots of action points. And that will be Harlequin. So that we can have more, more of the stuff. Decrease the target's movement for three rounds. Yeah, let's do that. Right, so it is our go again. Aegis launcher, we have one left. Missed. Uh, the drone. I think we're just going to send the drone round here. Although I do need to heal it at some point. It's missed. Right, so yeah, that's turned back into a real thing. So we're going to reload the Aegis and, and just be ready. For when it does switch back. Um, yeah, so Coyote, we could get this down this turn. Not with rolls like that. Same here, we're going to reload and we're just going to be ready. Um, okay, we're going to have to change of plan, go in with the sword. Yeah, okay, right, so that's that gone. Um, the shaman's going to shoot that. It's not dead yet. So close. This thing's about to escape. I'm sure it is. Okay. It's a good job they keep missing these insects. Oh, that one didn't. Right. Come on then. Aegis launcher. First attack. Done. And unfortunately it did it did heal back up, I think. So Yeah, as you say, you need you need two of them at the same time. And you need to get quite lucky. Oh now, thankfully I've got the haste spell on me. No Ugh. Out of ammo, got to reload. Just a case of keeping them down. Look in here. I don't think there's anything in here. No. Can we not release this um, this pestilence? Because sooner or later, it's going to disappear, and then it's going to be nasty. Right. So sharp tooth. We're going to reload the 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 Aegis launcher, and then we're going to save our other action points. I'm going to do the drone next. Oh, why did I come out there? Yeah, then we're going to do Coyote, that's going to go for this one. Oh, misclick. Hit it with the sword. Right, and then reload the Aegis, ready for next turn. So we're going to have four hits on it, I think. Uh, in fact, we can fire this. Yeah, although I shouldn't be splitting my targets. Bad. Bad call, Ripley. Um, let's do this power of the raccoon 
There you go. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, end turn. Yes, it's had frustrating. So, can I hit it from here? No, I can't. So, I've basically lost an action point. So, we're going to move to here. And it, it just keeps healing for full. So, yeah, you've really got to time it right. Done. Right, that's how you do it. And just all the characters need to be ready to hit it at the moment the spirit appears. Right, which will be there next turn for that. So that's that's the shaman. Let's bring the shaman in here. Shaman do a spell? No, because I've just That's alright. And the drone. Drone is gonna move to here. Um because that one is back. That'll do. Ooh, nasty. Ooh, very nasty. Right, so Harlequin with the Aegis launcher. Here we go. Missed. It's not a good start. And again. A bit. But then we need to reload. It's only got two shots. And there's no haste on. So that is, that is it. Coyote can do nothing. Um, because she's got a physical weapon. I guess you can shoot that. And again, the shaman can do nothing. And the drone. The drone can attack that. Okay. <laughs> nothing doing there. I mean, we can try this. This lightning barrier. One, two, three, four, five. And see if it takes any damage for crossing it. I don't think it will. Right, yep, it's come real again. So we'll reload the Aegis. Oh, he's really low on health. We need to use a med kit. And that's my two action points gone. So Harley Quinn, the Aegis is reloaded. We will switch to the sword. Are we going to get hit by the lightning? Oops. Oops. Okay, well that, that's silly. <laughs> that's very silly that it actually hit me by my own lightning. Yeah, probably we shouldn't actually survive this. Considering how many mistakes I've made. Why can't we hit that? Oh, because we've got that on. And the shaman will just have a pop at it. And the combat drone. Yeah. But there was no point in us doing that lightning at all. A waste of time. Does anybody know how you can dismiss uh, these things? Because I think last time when it escaped, it actually turned on me, and I don't want that. Yeah, and I think that's it now. I think it's turned on me. It has. Oh dear, dear, dear. Right, Sharptooth is in real trouble. Um, taking a lot of damage. And we really need to... Oh, I've done it again. Oh, yeah, this is getting a bit frustrating now. I, I accidentally... I, I thought Sharptooth was going to have two attacks, so I clicked it twice, and it attacked with the sword for this one. So, yeah. Not good. I mean, we're getting there slowly, but it's, this is just painfully slow. I mean, it's tense. I'm getting me wrong. <laughs> but it's, um, yeah, just a few bad misclicks and some bad plays here and there. 
has meant that this is actually a bit frustrating. Yeah, we need to get sharp tooth out of that doorway. Um, I'm going to send sharp tooth all the way over here. Hide. Harlequin is going to use the sword. What was that? I mean, he just said ow. Okay, uh, Coyote's doing all right, I think. Yeah, doesn't have much in the way of action points. Uh, we'll just reload. And then the Shaman. The Shaman's doing all right. Let's put a lightning barrier here. Okay. Okay, so sharp tooth. We'll reload the Aegis. And we will just get ready in position. Okay, so Harlequin is going to hit it with his sword. Oh, look how badly wounded Harlequin is. We are going to need a med kit. Like down on one health. Um, now, how's his weapon looking? The Aegis is fine. So next round, if this spirit appears, he can blast it. We need to get out of the firing zone along here. The yeah, Coyote is going to move around to here. Switch weapons, just shoot it with a little gun. Nice, that's dead. It's going to pop up next turn, and it's all going to be fine. All going to be fine. And then the drone, where's the drone? The drone's here. Okay, send. So it comes out. Here we go. Well, unfortunately, that was minus one action point. Minus one action point is not what we need when we need lots of action points. One hit. Come on. Two hits. Out of ammo. Reload. Right, Harlequin. Yes. That's it. It's just. Timing it all correctly is what it's all about. So we're going to reload the Aegis and we're going to do it again, ready for the next one. Um, I think we'll let it come to us. I think that's the plan, is we're just going to hunker down in here and wait for it to come round. And the drone as well drone can just go back here. Done. Right, sharp tooth. Aegis launcher is ready. So we need to be in position for when we can use it. Okay. It's going to come towards me. Oh, it's not quite in the right position. We need to switch to this weapon, reload it, and then put Overwatch on for when it comes in. Um, can you do Overwatch with a sword? I don't think you can. Or oh, maybe you can. Right, Overwatch with a sword. Coyote can hit it. And then reload. Okay, it reloads automatically, that one. Quite cool. And then the Shaman, can we do the Lightning Barrier? We can. Right. 
end. Oh, I didn't notice it was dead. Okay, can we hit it from there? No, line of sight is blocked. Okay, we're just going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to leave it. We need it to come in. Yeah, we need... I, I killed it too early. So we're just going to go here. Uh, and Harley Quinn is going to get the ages out. And he's going to go here. And then we're going to end our turn. Okay, so that's now gone back into a real life thing. We're going to put... Overwatch on here. Stream chat is dead. Thank you very much for letting me know. And we'll fix that. This is definitely overrunning. <laughs> I will just have to uh, quickly get ready for the next one. There you go. Screen, on screen chat is working again. Um, so we can use our shotgun. We want it to die in here, so I think we're going to go Overwatch. Think. Now the problem is it's got ranged. Right, it's dead. But it, it, right, it's dead and it's about to come back. So Sharp Tooth is going to go there and be ready with a fully loaded Aegis launch. Okay. Harley Quinn is going to go here and be ready with a fully loaded Aegis launcher. And then we're ready. Okay, so the spirit comes out. Oh, knocks one action point off me. Now, hopefully, we switch to the shaman. The shaman can cast haste and give me an extra one action point. Right, so Sharp Tooth now has three action points, but I only actually need two of them. One, two, and reload. And Harlequin. Oh, finally. Right, is, is that it? Or was, <laughs> is there more? I don't know where we need to go. I'm just going to wander around now. Is there more in here that we need to do? Is there a way out? There's a way out here. Okay, so that's where we need to go. Maybe we could have just run away. Maybe we didn't need to kill all of these bugs. I don't know. But, yeah. Wow, that was... It was a combination of being frustrated from a couple of misclicks and me not planning it carefully. And I, you know, I like the fact that I had to actually think about that tactically. That was definitely the hardest fight we had. Um, I think the problem being is that it said that um, Jamesy bloke, what's his name, was going to send on an extra person with us who would have a third prototype and then they never showed up. We ended up, I filled my party with four um, and then it didn't say, warning, if you fill your party with four, you won't be able to use the free character that you're going to get. So yeah, a combination of things, but is done and uh yeah maybe i couldn't have exited until i'd actually got rid of all of the things i don't know but we are quite badly wounded going into the uh going to, going into the last chapter so yeah there we go we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up today we are on into the depths which according to the playthrough uh, which according to the walkthrough is there's two more after this there's into the depths then there's the Bug Shaman, and then there is Out of the Shadows. I will try to get this done at the weekend. If I can fit this in at the weekend, I will. Um, I will advertise it with as much notice as I can. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all of, the, all of my Patreon supporters for making the videos this week, uh, and next week, and the week after possible. I will be back at 2 o'clock today. Oh dear, that's in 45 minutes time with Maracaibo. I need... To quickly get all of this away, set the studio up, learn how to play Maracaibo and have lunch. I'm going to disappear. Thank you very much. I will see some of you in 45 minutes time. Take care, everyone.
Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.